atoms of the same element always have the same number of protons in the nucleus. And this means that the atom will have the same proton number. Now, that's sometimes called the atomic number. So they mean the same thing. It's the number of protons that are in the nucleus. But in the nucleus, you can have a different number of neutrons. And neutrons are the particles which do not have a charge. Remember, protons are positively charged. Neutrons are a neutral. They don't have a charge. And if there are different numbers of neutrons in the nucleus, then that nucleus will have a different nucleon number, sometimes called mass number. The nucleon number, remember, just tells us the total number of particles in the nucleus. The total number of particles, that's protons and neutrons, oops, and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. So when you get atoms like this, which have got the same number of protons, but different number of neutrons, then they're called isotopes. Okay, important word to remember. And here are three examples of isotopes that occur. These are isotopes of carbon, and notice that it's got the same proton number. So we've got the same atomic or proton number. But look at the nucleon numbers, the mass numbers. They're increasing. And so that means we've got different numbers of particles in the nucleus. In fact, we've got different numbers of neutrons. So we have six protons in this one. And to find the number of neutrons, we need to do subtract 6 from 12. So this means we've got 6 neutrons in carbon 12, the isotope carbon 12. 6 neutrons. In this one, carbon 13, we've got 13 minus 6 is 7 neutrons. It's the same element, which means it will undergo the same chemical reactions. It's just slightly heavier. And in carbon 14, we have eight neutrons. So there we are. These are all isotopes, atoms with the same number of protons, but different numbers of neutrons.